I have a recording studio in the Cancer Center at Texas Children's Cancer and Hematology Centers uh, where we work with the children who are being treated for cancer and blood disorders and their siblings to write and record their own songs. And work with them in composing songs, in lyrics, in printing all this music to a CD that they can keep, something that they can give their friends. And Anita Cruz, their founder, is a master. We call her the Pied Piper here. She's been able to convince people like United Airlines to carry it in their channels. These CDs have gone to Mount Everest. They've flown on the shuttle. They've been all over the world. Olivia Newton-John and David Foster did a special recording for them. But this project is a a gathering of several of the children. Zap Boom Bang Studios is launching and the first song that they are recording in the studio is this collaboration with the children and with a producer that they brought in, Andres Levin, and several musicians that they've brought in from different parts of the country. We just kind of sat down with the kids and we were like, all right, what would you like to say? And part of the songwriting process for me facilitating it is just to ask guiding questions. Um, and Andreas took the lyrics and put it into a song, and so it was interesting to see what they picked from there. And it's all in the course. It's really beautiful. One thing is to have a beautiful facility, but the other is to have top state-of-the-art equipment that really delivers. Uh, Kathy Lopez Negrete, who designed it, really, I think, believes in the fact that if you're going to be working, you might as well be in a beautiful space. And we believe also that that inspires even better work. You have people here who have never written a song before or something, and then to be able to write a song with them is just this incredible feeling, something they didn't even know they could do when kids are in the hospital. Sometimes they don't have a lot of agency because it's, you know their parents are there or the doctors tell them to do this, do that. This is your piece of creative output. Just uh, pour your mind and heart into the words. Dream has been woven into my life. <sighs> for several years now, and that's one of the things that came to mind. You know, frankly, I haven't uh, had a dream in a long time, which is kind of ironic since my song is Dream Big. I just hope that they realize that we're trying to convey a message of hope and strength and courage and what we've gone through. And something that I've learned throughout my journey, specifically, like personally to me, is that you can choose how you handle something and you can choose your whether you're going to be positive or not about it and whether you're going to be happy or not in life. I kind of want people to understand that because it's not just going through cancer. I mean, it's any situation in life. You know, there's always hope for no ma everything that you're going through. No matter what you're going through, there's always someone who's going through something worse. And I just think that's something that everyone needs to learn. I think it's a lot to ask of anyone like, "Hey, you just met me two minutes ago, like why don't you tell me something really personal that like might be a really difficult story, but it's something else entirely to be like, hey, do you like music? Like, have you ever seen a guitar? Like, hey, look at this, you know? What, what kind of songs do you like? Like, what kind of songs do you wish there were that you could relate to? I think, you know, songwriting is a way to say anything in a direct manner, but it doesn't feel quite so direct. And I think that it gives you this emotional release when you are at your lowest. To see children facing that and to see them have so much to share and have incredible wisdom because of what they're going through and at the same time have gratitude for their life and for their families, for their friends. They're very, very grateful for the people in their lives and the things that have given them strength and love and support and they're able to say these things. I mean they told me you know you have cancer you know for the second time and I was just I didn't cry the only thing I did was I asked the doctor okay what do we need to do and I realized in that moment that I had the choice to either be happy and deal with it or I could have you know I could have gone a totally different route and been depressed and upset and you know scared and of course I was scared but I realized that I needed to be happy, I needed to be positive, and that was important to my growth and to my, every, like my whole treatment and everything. So, Recently I was working with a patient who, he was end of life, so they were just, they had stopped treatment and they were just doing pain management. He had started writing words down and one of his nurses said, oh, oh, is this a poem? And he was like, these are lyrics. I took some of his words and kind of guided him through it and it was slow at first, sometimes it was just 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, but he started to get stronger and stronger and he is outpatient now. He is no longer inpatient and he's back on treatment. He let me know that it's, it's through songwriting that he can release, that he can calm himself down when he's angry or frustrated. And it's an avenue that he didn't know 
that was available to him. It was really cool. So like, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. I never thought anything like this would happen. Dream big. Never, ever give up.